wanted to upgrade the tennis tutor to have remote control so I could turn it off on the other side of the court. I think tennis tutor charges like 400 bucks and I got this done for like 15. I needed two two channel relays that I'll link in the description but uh, one of them I had to put in switching mode for the uh, for the elevation because it has to switch polarity. So I put that on C and D. Well, you gotta turn it on first. And then it'll switch polarity on that particular wireless relay. And then the other one turns on oscillation. And then the other one turns on. I added the LED lights. Those are in a different video. But uh, I think the $400 upgrade that Tennis Tutor charges for doesn't even do elevation. And to do speed, I would have had to get a PWM uh, a potentiometer radio frequency and haven't done that yet. But this is pretty useful from the other side of the court. And if there's interest in it, I can maybe make a video, but it gets pretty complicated with wiring. Some other little hacks that I did were put this 3M Velcro here because balls were slipping out. So I put this on all four corners. And then uh, when you break it down, you can still just push it down and flex that back and, and it folds up still real nice. And then I made everything a thumb release knob here, here, and then I took out the screws and put these uh, these ice chest uh, levers. And then this was always coming out, so I put a cotter pin in here. Just drilled a hole through there and put a cotter pin. So I can take the top off out on the court if I wanted to. And that allows me to change these 3D printed wheels out from pickleball wheels back to a tennis ball wheel. Also changed out the chute with some PVC tubing, or not PVC, but some dryer tubing. Uh, to get a little bit more consistent shot. And then I dremeled off the side here because uh, it was catching the side on the, the pickle balls every now and again. So this is the antenna that I ran from my two uh, radio frequency uh, relays. Uh, it's just a just a 10 gauge wire, I think. Uh, and I ran it from the, uh, the antenna port because this, this box blocks the antenna, sig the RF signal and the relays are all the way back here in the back. I'll leave one key fob here so that anybody can turn it off at the machine and then take one over with me in my pocket. And now the on switch just activates the relay instead of activates the machine. And I, I disabled that up, down, and, and oscillation button. But the speed and the ball feed and the top spin still work. I also ran the wires for the oscillator through here and out here. That way I don't have to reach up underneath the machine to connect them when I take the top off. It's just a lot easier. I can just set the top on and connect it here. And then this is the uh, wire for my uh, LED indicator lights. And it had to be wired up top as well, so I put it to the same port.